Hello people, my name is Imano Sebastian and welcome to another lovely edition of the Players Roundup show on Ninja Footballers TV. Well, it's a new month, the second month of the year 2020 and I'm sure we've kicked on properly as the year 2020 gets on into full speed. Well, it was transfer deadline day and that ushered us into the weekend club actions across top leagues all over Europe and of course it's always entertaining to see your Nigerian footballers get involved. Well, on the show this time around guys, I'll be giving some players their debut appearance on the show as I'll be talking about them for the first time and one of them being a former Nigerian international and I'm sure most of us Nigerian football lovers have forgotten about him. So guys, my name is Emmanuel Sebastian. Stay with me on this ride. It is the Players Roundup Show and we are Nigerian footballers. All right, welcome back guys. So let's begin the roundup with female football. So it's fair for me to say ladies first. So it was Azizat Ostrola who scored a 15th goal of the season in Barcelona's 3-0 win over Sevilla in the Spanish Primera Ipedola. That's the top flight female football in Spain. So Azizat Ostrola, you know, scored, get on the score sheet as Barcelona ran out 3 new winners in that one. That game was a game that involved three Nigerians, Azizat Ostrola being one of them, and as well Tony Payne of Sevilla. She played the full 90 minutes in that game. She's an American born and she hasn't, you know, hidden her intentions of turning out for the Super, Super Falcons of Nigeria if given the chance. And we also have Uche Nakano who made a debut for Sevilla off the bench, having signed from this past week in the transfer window. But it was Aziza Oshwala who was, you know, who shone right on the day as she scored the second goal of the game as Barcelona ran out three new winners in that fixture in the Spanish Primera Iberdola in Spain. Now guys from Aziza Ushola was switched genders back to male football and it was Freddy Ladako who was on target for Rotherham in their 3-2, three, three, it was a thrilling game actually, it was a 3-2 win for Rotherham in the English League 1. Ladako started that game on the bench but he came on in the second half to get the winner. That's the third goal that secured all three points for Rotherham either in the English Championship. So good one for Latako. You know, he scored his 10th league goal of the season in that fixture. You know, guys, Rotterdam keep giving us a reason to frequently talk about them on the show. And that is because they are on a fire run of form in the League One at the moment, staying on top of the league standings. And their Nigerian contingent, you know, like I mentioned in pre previous edition of the show, have contributed hugely to the form of Rotterdam so far this season in the English Championship. So good one for Rotterdam. You know, that win you know sees them top of the league one standings and they look right on course to get promoted back to the english championship in england so guys from freddie ladako we stay in england and we move to shimi ajayi of west bromwich Albion. guys talking about teams looking on course to get promoted it is the same case for west bromwich Albion and shimi ajayi as they run out two new winners over Luton town in the english championship fixture this past weekend ajayi got the second goal in that game it was a thumping header to secure all three points for West Bromwich Albion right there at the Hortons in England. So it was a fantastic win for Shemi Ajayi and West Bromwich Albion. It's his fifth league goal of the season. And guys, I can tell you for free, that is not bad for a defender, you know, getting, you know, five goals so far in a particular season. So good one for Shemi Ajayi and West Bromwich Albion. Guys, on the show last, on the last edition, I was talking about defenders getting on the score sheet and I'm sure Shimi Ajayi watched that show and decided to respond. But talking about another defender who also watched the show last time out and responded, it is Kenneth Omero, who was also on the score sheet for CD Leganes in the Spanish La Liga this past weekend. Leganes were trailing in that game at some point by one goal to nil. But Kenneth Omero got the equalizer at the early stages of the second half before Leganes went on to secure a 2-1 comeback win in the Spanish La Liga. Omero who started that game alongside compatriot Chijosi Awadzim in the defense for Leganes had a fantastic game out there in Spain. So good one for Kenneth Omero getting on the score sheet as Leganes they continue their fight to stay on top above their relegation for the battle in the Spanish La Liga so far this season. <laughs> Guys from Kenneth Miro, another defender who also got on the score sheet this past weekend was Kingsley Ayizi Boy or Kingsley Ayiz for short. He's a right back. He was on target for his club side FC Cologne in the German Bundesliga. It was a 4 0 win, a massive win for Cologne over Freiburg. And Kingsley Ayizi Boy playing a right back got the third goal. It was two late goals from Cologne. The third and fourth goal was after the 90 minutes close. And Kingsley Ayizi Boy got the third goal 
as he received the ball from the right flank and made a dashing run that was floating home with his left foot. So, great goal from Kingsley in his role as he gets his first Bundesliga goal this season for FC Cologne. And guys, from Kingsley, a easy way we move to the Italian Serie A where Bobby Adekanye also got his first Serie A goal for Lazio this past weekend. It was a 5 1 win, a massive win for Lazio over Spal in the Italian Serie A. And Bobby Adekanye came off the bench to wrap up the scoring for Lazio as they went on to secure that big win. You know, the attackers of Lazio they are currently in fine form at the moment. You can't mention Lazio without talking about the Italian soccer, Ciro Immobile. But it was Bobby Adekanye who was off the bench to get his first Serie A goal for Lazio this season. He moved from Liverpool you know, last summer for regular first in football and just, you know, kind of ripping the rules. Adekanye was born in Nigeria but moved to the Netherlands at the early stages of his career where he has been capped so far at youth level. So great one to see Bobby Adekanye getting his first Serie A goal for Lazio this season in the Italian Serie A. So guys, from Bobby Adekanye, we travel all the way to India to talk about this man, Bartolomeo Ogbeche. Now he, he got a hat-trick for his club side this past weekend. You know, he's kind of a bitter, sweet feeling, a mixed feeling for Ogbeche and he got a hat-trick, but it was a game he went on to lose. Guys, how do you get to score a hat-trick in a game and your team went on to lose that game? They lost by six goals to three. Kerala Blazers, I mean, you know, they, they, they stay towards the bottom in the Indian Super League standings. It's a 10 team standing, you know, they are eight on the log. So great to see Bartolomeo Pogbeche getting on the score today. Again, guys, he's still very much active. He's 35 years old. So I'm sure most of us Nigerians have forgotten about the career of this man. We can forget that bicycle kick he scored for the Super Eagle during his short stint with the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So good one for Bartolomeo Pogbeche. He's hat trick this weekend puts him on 11 goals in 13 appearance so far this season for Kerala Blasters in the Indian Super League. So guys, it's Bartolomeo Ogbeche. It's a wrap on the roundup on this edition of the Players' Roundup Show on Niger Footballers TV. But guys, like we always do, it's time to reveal to you who the Niger Footballers Player of the Week is on this edition of the Players' Roundup Show. So guys, stick around and I'll back with you shortly. Welcome back guys, so our player of the week on this edition of the Players Roundup Show on Niger Footballers TV is none other than Kingsley Aiz. Kingsley Aiz Ibway for Cologne he was a man of the match performance from Aiz Ibway in the Bundesliga this past weekend for Cologne. He had a fantastic game with a massive rating after that game, you know, like I said, man of the match performance. He got a goal, he got the third goal for FC Cologne. It was a brilliant, you know, solo goal, receiving the ball from the right but finishing with his left foot, Easy Boy, who was born in Germany to Nigerian parents, but moved to the Netherlands at the early stages of his career. Guys, that make him eligible to turn out for three countries, talking about the Netherlands, the German national team, or the Super Eagles of Nigeria. But so far, it is the Netherlands who have capped him so far at junior levels. So, Kingsley, Easy Boy, is still very much eligible to represent the Super Eagles of Nigeria if called upon. So, great one for Kingsley, Easy Boy. So, he's got his first Bundesliga goal and he has well gotten an assist so far this season. So it's a goal and an assist so far this season in the Bundesliga from Kingsley Aizuwe after he joined them last summer. So great business from Cologne getting Kingsley Aizuwe. He's been an ever present right from when he signed for you know FC Cologne. He has made over 18 Bundesliga appearances this season. So well trusted Kingsley Aizuwe at right back. He's mobile, he's versatile, he has space. So but like I mentioned this weekend, have to give it to him because of his man of the match performance for FC Cologne in the Bundesliga. It was a funny win for them. So congratulations to Kingsley Elizabeth of FC Cologne for getting the player of the week on this edition of the Players Roundup Show on Ninja Footballers TV. And with that guys, it's a wrap on this edition of the show. So guys, don't always forget to interact with us in the comment section on whichever social media platform come across this video so share your thoughts about these players share your thought what you think about this player which of them have a chance to turn out for the super Eagles of nigeria in the future guys drop a comment we are ninja footballers on instagram we are also ninja footballers on youtube ninja footballers on facebook so guys interact with us share your thoughts with us on whichever of these social media platforms you come across our videos guys subscribe to our youtube channel for premium nigerian football content we want to say a big thank you to those who have stuck with us so far and we will keep dishing out to you.
premium Nigerian football content as we go forward in the year 2020. Guys, my name is Emmanuel Sebastian. And it's a new month, so it's fair for me to say happy new month to everyone who's tuned in and who watched on the show this time around. My name is Emmanuel Sebastian. Don't forget to keep up with the good attitude because the little thing they say it might be, but it plays a major role in whatsoever you do in life. I remain Emmanuel Sebastian, signing out.